Hello, happy Monday. Welcome to What the Flick. I am Christy. That is Alonzo. It's just the two of us today. Matt was going to join us, but is sick with a cold. <laughs> it happens to all of us at some point in time. As somebody pointed out, it's do I have a cold or are these allergies season right. in Los Angeles? And then eventually the purple trees will bloom. And, oh, that's happening. And ruin all of our, the jacaranda the trees The jacarandas are jizzing all over the cars. They're very pretty to look at, but they destroy everything inside. Yes. So um, it was a weekend. I had to go see show dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those Saturday morning things. You mean you got to right. go see show dogs. And it was the premiere. Yeah, so we'll talk about show dogs eventually. It does not come out this week. It comes out in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, it is embargoed until... 3 p.m. <laughs> the day before it opens. So you can draw whatever conclusions you would like from that, but um, I have to review it for RogerEbert.com in a couple of weeks. It was the premiere, and since it's a movie about talking dogs, they had actual dogs on the carpet. Nice. It was a blue carpet. Okay. And there and were little dogs. Were there pee pads on the carpet? No, you know what? Because these are highly trained SAG card oh, carrying right. dogs, and they only pee, you know, on cue. Wow. When told to for comedic effect, okay. these are dogs who pee with timing involved. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's it's a very like '80s kind of throwback talking dog movie with, okay. um, you know, special effects of like dogs talking. I'm still wait <laughs> I'm still waiting for the sequel to G Force. Remember that movie yeah. about the 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 guinea pigs that were spies. <laughs> <laughs> At least they, one of them was voiced by like Tracy Morgan, I think. Yeah, no, you have um, you have Ludacris is this? It's it basically it's Miss Congeniality with dogs. Okay. Ludacris is, is a. There's a pitch. New York is a pol New York Police Department um, special agent um, Rottweiler dog that Ludacris voices, and he gets caught up in some smuggling scheme. Oh, and he has to go undercover. He has to go undercover oh. on a dog show. <laughs> so it's Miss Congeniality. Okay. But with dogs, so I had to. So I took Nicholas to it's see. It's a that. less drooly Turner and Hooch. Yeah, yeah, and they actually that is a plot point. There's a Turner and Hooch reference in All here. Right. It's, it's a meta for the parents. Meta dog movie. So we did that. So um, that will probably never make in its entire lifetime as much money as Avengers: Infinity Ooh, War season weekend made two. Yeah, this weekend. So um, so Infinity War, as we keep saying over and over again, because we're super boring and that's all there is to talk about. It makes all the money, and it has now crossed the $1 billion mark worldwide faster yes. than any movie ever. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Even fa Oh, because, yeah, because Star Wars in China. and this, Wow, yeah. okay. So That's now pretty it's, amazing. It's now a, a thing we can, you know, put as one of its many records that it has hit. Second largest uh, second weekend ever behind only uh, Force Awakens. Right. It made $112.5 million in its second weekend. Yeah. So, which is a drop of 56% mm -hmm. because your first weekend was $258 million. Exactly. <laughs> a little bit of front loading there, but, you know, not a terrible hold as these things go. Yeah. Um, yeah, so beyond that, it was kind of like, eh, Overboard did okay. I think it did better than people thought it would. It did. I think right? it, it did exceed expectations. What did yeah. it make? It made 14.75 14. Yeah. Uh, on less than 2,000 screens, so that's pretty impressive. So you went and saw Overboard over the weekend. You, I did. You were here with us when we reviewed it last week. You can watch our review of that. Matt and I saw it, but Alonzo, you had not seen it I had it not yet. seen it at the time. So what'd you think? Uh, I... I I liked it more than I thought I was going to. Yeah. I've still never seen the original. I've got to see it before Wednesday because we're talking about it and who shot you this week. You've seen Swept Away, though. I have seen Swept Away. Both versions of it, That's right? That's true. You yeah, I didn't really connect away. it with that. But you're right. It is kind of the uh -huh. the the it's the Gary Marshall Swept Away. Um, it's funny because you know I went in thinking like, well, I like Anna Ferris and she's really funny and I like her and I want to see her do stuff. And she kind of gets saddled with all the sort of not fun plot mechanics. Mm -hmm. So I kind of came away thinking, wow, Eugenio Derbez, he's funny. <laughs> I'd never I've never seen any of his movies. I didn't see Instructions yeah. Not Included or How to Be a Latin Lover. So I found him kind of charming in this. He's yeah. got he's a skillful um, physical comedian mm -hmm. and you know, kind of plays the various, you know, the 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 a-hole notes and the sort of, you know, burgeoning nice guy parts yes. of the role pretty well. There are a lot of funny side characters. Um, Eva Longoria is Eva actually- Eva Longoria is really good in this. She is. Because she has like a deadpan kind of sly humor about her as as the best friend who helps concoct the scheme. Yeah, I mean, she she will sneak up on you sometimes. Yeah. There, I've seen, there are some things that I've seen her in where I was kind of like, okay, you're actually, you know, you, you've got more going on than just sort of like right. this- Being a housewife. Know, glamorous yes. thing that's going Being on. A and then housewife. I want to look up, I, I 
keep forgetting the name yes. of the actor who plays her husband, who I'm a big fan from. Did you ever watch Getting On on HBO? The actor who plays her husband. Um, no, I did not. Really funny show Look about up, about uh, hospice nurses, basically. Mel Rodriguez. Okay, he was Mel, played Patsy on that show. Plays Ava Longoria's husband in this. Okay, and I thought very charming, funny, yeah. very funny. So yeah, I I I laughed far more than I thought I was going to. It's pretty disposable. Uh -huh. It's nothing special, but. It, it was means okay. well. And you're right, it is funnier in, if you speak Spanish. Right, because the <laughs> subtitles are translated wrong. The subtitles are, are a little half assed, and the, uh, the the Spanish parts of the movie are funnier. They are. You know, and so yeah. the stuff with the construction workers when they're all like busting each other's chops. Yes, exactly, kind of and with and with the sort of conniving rich family yeah. and the you know the 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 the, the feuding sisters. I, you know, yeah, I I didn't hate it. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe expectations are a part of that. That uh, always probably Matt, does play. After yeah. hearing you and Matt be kind of like, kind of poo poo it, I was sort of like, mm, what do you got? Impressive. And it was it was okay. Yes, I like Anna Ferris a lot. So yeah. Um, yeah, so that did pretty well over the weekend. That was definitely your um, alternative programming for the weekend. If you maybe had already seen Infinity War, or Infinity War was too much for the whole family to handle. I think what Tully we had, did well. I, well. Actually, it didn't do it, that great. Well, well it, it's only on thirteen hundred screens. It made three point two. Uh, yes, but I think I, I think they were hoping for more because they went wide rather than I platforming see. it. I see. By, as Box Office Mojo says, uh, right in the middle of industry expectations, but still something of a disappointment as the studio went with a wide opening weekend rather than use the positive reviews and go with a platform release to bank on word of mouth. Okay. So I think if they were going to like you know I go see. wide immediately, they were maybe expecting a little more feedback. I hope that it, that it's around long enough for people to discover it. Yeah. Uh, because it's really good, and and I have to say the the thing about it that bugged me the further away from it I get. Like uh, Dave totally explained why it works, and I don't okay. know that I totally agree with him on that. Okay. But the thing that bugs me bugs me less, and the things that okay. I like about the movie I like more. So I feel like we also might have had something to do with that in persuading you to like it more than you might have thought. <sighs> no, I, I mean, the conversation <laughs> helps, but I think uh, just in terms of, I think there's so much that it does right yeah. that it, you know. I was willing, you know, it's, 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 you need to see Charlie Saren's performance. No, she's so great in it. Yeah. And so, so if I have some script issues, that's secondary to the fact that you need to see Charlie Saren's performance. You do. And then also in the specialty box office, um, RBG, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg documentary came out this week in limited release. It did well. It did on, very on 34 well. screens. It made five hundred and sixty thousand dollars. That's a really strong per that's, screen. That's, that's sixteen point five. Yeah, sixteen point five per screen. That's very. That's impressive. It is. No, it's it's really good. And that's also something that I think is a, a word of mouth kind of. You know, maybe it wouldn't occur to you to go see a Ruth Bader Ginsburg <laughs> documentary, but it's it's really but you good, should. and so maybe you should. Um, so yeah, so we have something else that you should also look into, which is the TYT app. There's an app. You can go on your phone right now onto this part of the phone, and uh, and you can uh, you can look up in your various stores. Our show, all the shows, yeah. they're all in there. They're it's all in there. Handy. So, like, let's say that you wake up first thing in the morning and you don't want to get out of bed and get your laptop, but like, your phone's right there. You can go, oh, phone. Uh. What's happening in the TYT world this morning? Oh, it's I got to get out of bed now. Important things are happening, and so the TYT app. The TYT app will tell you that. <laughs> you can get it where all apps are available. Where, they, where the apps live. <laughs> <laughs> where do the apps live? Where do they sleep when we're not talking to them? Yeah, so go to tyt.com slash app. You can get it there. Um, you can download it there and um, be fun. Sit in traffic at red lights. Don't look at it while you're driving. No, no. Just do it while you're stopping But if you're, like, lights. riding in the back of a lift, <laughs> feel free right. to avail yourself to it.